Welcome back guys, this is Henny1502 Inc. I'm back and we are diving into Codecademy's Mastering jQuery Syntax. So what we basically want to do for lesson number one out of five is we want to become accustomed to what jQuery looks like. Um, jQuery is in a short nice sentence an easier way to use JavaScript. Um, Pretty much, it, it, it can achieve the same thing JavaScript and CSS can achieve, but it's simpler and a lot of people could benefit from it. So what Codecademy has set up for us is we are creating a variable called paragraph, and all they want us to do, I think that all they want us to do here is... add a dollar sign to let um, your editor know that we are working with jQuery those are my birds in the background and what we want to do is basically do this and don't forget the semicolons so what we in a short simple sentence did is we let um, JavaScript know that we are working with the paragraphs so all you pretty much have to do is just put in the dollar sign semicolons I mean apostrophes and just the P to represent paragraphs just as you would with CSS it's really the same thing save and submit and we get the green check mark um, moving on what Code Academy wants us to do is to learn how to link our script page to our HTML index page now this can be achieved rather simply just by typing in script it comes up for you and inside your script you want to go ahead and you want to they want you to include type which is not necessary anymore because JavaScript already knows what um, when you type in script it should know what you are working with um, the newer versions anyway but we want to just listen to Codecademy and take everything that we are learning from them so just follow whatever they want you to do and CSR basically means where do we want to link this to script.js which is this file right here this empty file save and submit moving on to the next lesson now I don't I don't know if I did this right but I still got the green check mark so I'm going to show you guys what I did and maybe you guys might have did something differently I, I don't know I still got the green check mark so um, what Code Academy wants us to do is to set up document.ready so this is essentially what I did dot ready um, let me see what was I passing in scripts dot js like I said before it did work um I, I guess I did it this way because in the instructions it says add a document dot ready and semicolons call in script dot js remember the document is a special is special so I guess this is why I did it this way I I don't know if this is actually correct but it does work as you see here I do get the green check mark I am golden and I am moving on to the next lesson number four now in number four I go back and I change it so I don't I don't know if I actually did do that last question correctly to be honest um number four let me see if I'm doing this right let me see if I'm doing this right yes I am um so for number four pretty much all you need to do here this is how you set up jQuery right here essentially you have your document to let you know to let JavaScript know that you're working on a document dot ready which means we're going to do something that's pretty much think of it like that we haven't written anything so it will do nothing save and submit we get the green check mark 
and for number five we will be doing something so realize how we have the title tada we linked the style sheet so basically we have a div the position is absolute the height is 60 um, pixels I don't know what the color is um, but you guys can see what the font is and we also have linked the script page which we have not written any code inside of it and inside this div it will say I am the header so what we basically want to do is um, what do we want to do hmm. so basically what we want to do is we want to tell jQuery that we want to control this div this div right here we want to slide it down and we want it to slide down slowly so how this can be achieved is by basically doing this get used to doing the dollar sign in the parentheses it's it's just how j it's just how jquery is um so apostrophe div dot slide make sure you capitalize the d that is absolutely crucial it will not work if you do otherwise and because we wanted to function slowly we have to let jQuery know what to do so we can change this to fast and we can change this to a time such as like I don't know like 2000 or whatever that you saw on the last video but for this particular um, lesson we want to set it to slow so save and submit and we get the green check mark we are golden Add, like, subscribe, comment down below. This is Henry15028, Inc. I'm out.